on this Martin Luther King Day, uh, it makes sense uh, to point out some of the black Republican presidential candidates. Now, you might be thinking, well, Herman Cain is no longer in the race, so who are you referring to? Well, apparently I'm referring to Newt Gingrich and Mitt Romney. That is a theory of one very colorful uh, Reverend Manning, uh, who's got a church uh, called Atla, uh, World Missionary Church, all the land anointed holy in, uh, in Harlem. Uh, his name is, uh, his pastor, I should say, James David Manning. And he's got a very unique theory about why Newt Gingrich might be black. And I have a strange suspicion. The reason why Newt is so erratic um, and unpredictable uh, is that I, I believe that Newt Gingrich's father was a liberal, educated black man. I do. I, you know, because he was raised by a stepfather. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment. I believe that Newt Gingrich's uh, real father was a liberal but educated black man. Because Newt's real name is Newton Leroy McPherson. That's what he was born. He was born Newton Leroy McPherson. Now listen, nobody on the planet names their children Leroy except black people. Just like nobody on the planet names their sons Hector except Hispanic people. You, you, nobody, you just don't, you, if, you, if, if, if your name is Hector, everybody know somewhere down the line, you, you Hispanic, homie. <laughs> you Hispanic, homie. <laughs> okay, now, yeah, I gotta say, it's not such a bad point. I mean, that is the blackest name in America. And by the way, who changes their name from a pretty cool name, Newton Leroy McPherson, to Newt Gingrich? I mean, Gingrich sounds like a... Gingrich who sold Christmas, everybody knows that. And Newton's pretty of a cool name. Newt sounds like the kind of animal that burrows under your skin and sucks your blood. <laughs> well, well he, was, he was entering the political world, you know, so he had to make sure things were on the up and up. He can be a Grinch who steals Christmas as a Republican, a conservative who takes everybody's stuff and conserve it for themselves. I mean, you can't, you can't get anywhere in politics with your name Leroy. We, we know a whole thing about, <laughs> what was it, the, the book was Freakonomics? Uh -huh. Where yeah. they talk about the names and if you can get the job or not, he's like, I'm thinking way ahead. And number two, wait a second. Now, from what our, our boy Manning said, the reason, before he got to the name, the reason that Newt, he has this theory is because he's unpredictable and erratic. Was it erratic? Yes. Because, you know, black folks are unpredictable and erratic. No, no, his self-hatred is so through the roof, it's hard to keep up with it. I, that's the first thing I thought of. Why, I'm like, why does that make him black? I don't get it, right? And, but maybe it's because I'm not nearly as, uh, I don't know what the right word is, racist, self-hating as, as Pastor Manning is. And then he says, no, no, uh, uh, Newt's dad must have been black. Although, by the way, Newt looks like the whitest man in America. Uh, because, uh, but his dad was liberal and educated. Again, what's the but? I don't, e I don't, I don't even understand w what he's thinking in these terms. Uh, but uh, I do want to ask you, uh, Newton Leroy uh, McPherson. Have you ever heard of a white man with that name? Uh, does he have a decent point? Did that sounds like the blackest name in America? Well, not the Newton part. The uh. Leroy McPherson, I, you know. <laughs> he should have left off the Newton part. He, he should have he come up with the lie. His name was Leroy McPherson, and he added Newton later. <laughs> well, well, as long as he's making stuff up, right? Why not make that up, too? But it turns out uh, Newt is not the only uh, partially black candidate uh, in the Republican field that remains. Uh, that also apparently applies to Mitt Romney. Let's find out. Mitt Romney? His name is Willard. Willard! I think that he's probably the son of a psycho. And that's why he acts the way he acts. So if you vote for, and I believe that, I believe that Willard has some black blood in him too. If you, if, you, if you watch Mitt Romney, his name is Willard Mitt Romney. And, and of course his father, I, somewhere down the line, I think that the Romney's wives got in bed with the sleeping car porters on them long train trips from Michigan to Chicago, of Chicago to Boston. <laughs> That's awesome. That one, he just pulled right out of his ass. <laughs> Willard is like the whitest name in the world. And so w why is Mitt Romney half black? I don't know, his mom must have been stepping the porters on the train. 
Where did that come from? How does that make any sense? Apparently, this is a phenomenon we were not familiar with, but uh, Pastor Manning is, because he says it happened all the time. Let's watch. These politicians and wealthy people's wives used to take these long train rides from Chicago to L.A., and these sleeping car porters didn't have anything to do. The women were bored. It was a four-day train ride. And, 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 and Leroy, the black, you know, the black sleeping car porter, Leroy and Willard, they were there serving coffee and tea with their white jackets and their black pass on. And, and Mrs. Romney uh, and, and Mrs. McPherson took them in the, in the sleeping car. These black men in the sleeping car. Uh, he must have seen that online somewhere. <laughs> uh, Pastor Manning, we know what you're doing. Okay, you're cooking up these fans. And then other things would happen. Then the white girls would be nurses, and they'd be really naughty. And then maybe a pastor comes in. <laughs> okay, what, where the hell is this theory coming from? I'm not saying it never happened, but then to say all of a sudden, hence it's obvious that Mitt Romney is half black. <laughs> that guy's crazy. Later on, he says, like, you know, I'm partly kidding, but I totally mean it. No, this, this is how it works, dude. I think. Remember I was saying before, I don't know if I did it for Michael Steele, but Herman Cain a little bit. Some of these guys who are seen as the sellout and, and, and they, they help co-sign for racist people in certain aspects of the party. I think you have to get fed up. I said, he must go home and go, oh, I hate doing this, but the money's so good. So I don't know, Pastor Manning, no one's taking him seriously. He's not a spokesman for anyone political. But... If for anyone is listening, he'd say, let me lure them in, say that, oh, God, long lady, Mac Daddy, Barack Obama, and then come back with this, eventually he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna stab him in the back. And by the way, your mama slept with black porters, and your mama slept with black porters. And then they look up and go, wait a second, he's, he's insulting us. What the hell? He's, get, he's getting his, you know, he's getting back. He's getting back. <laughs> I don't know. This I, is my theory. I, I just think that he's... A kooky guy who uh, people are entertained by, so they tolerate him. And he's just trying to get attention one way or another. You know, he's like, if I get attention for being against Obama, the reason JR said long legged Mac Daddy is because that's what he'd called Obama before we'd done that segment, and uh, et cetera. He's like, that gets me attention. If I say uh, these guys are black and uh, because their mom got screwed by a black guy on a train, That'll get me attention. And you know what? Mission accomplished, because I was very amused by those theories. Uh, we got one last clip for you from uh, legendary Pastor Man. And so I'm here to tell you now that if Newt became president, we'd have another half black president. And if Willard became president, we'd have a second, we'd have even a third half black president. And if M Willard becomes president and he chooses Newt as his vice, We'll have a first, we'll have a second black president and a first uh, half black president and a first half black vice president because I believe both of these men got black blood in their veins. They got black blood in their veins, but they got a funny way of showing it because as you look at those pictures, I'm thinking, man, I cannot imagine how any two human beings could look more white. 